Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton. Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Fish? Fresh fish? Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. What is the EOD? I mean, 
what, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. <laughs> Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Huh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war, and ever since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. There will be See you later.
got business here. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. <sighs> I see me praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Can you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. <sighs> Not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. The average Joe. If not for his, uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. And what did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. What's the deal with the... the password and such? Orders from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. Alright. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've gotta go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Just a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. The hall's fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools.
dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. Still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling.
I have questions. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. about this. Poisoned the fish with an unknown substance. That made a noise which alerted the guard who chased him out.
You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Don't worry. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh... You go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, truck. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer, except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Give me your map. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. See ya. May the sea protect you. Mm -hmm.